It's a Saturday afternoon at Swayze Field in Oxford, Mississippi. Game two of the weekend series between Xavier and number 23 Ole Miss here on the SEC Network. He saw what his staff did yesterday. He's going to try to repeat it. Yeah, Gunnar Hoagland, of course, making several starts last year for this Rebel squad. Look for him to have another quality start like he did last weekend. And comes to the plate, 2-0 pitch. Finds the inside corner, a pair of strikeouts in the first. That one was big early on for Gunnar Hoagland. The 2-2 pitch right down Broadway. Hoagland's sixth strikeout of the afternoon so far. And it'll get the Rebels out of the inning. Baker, big swing, big fly to left, another home run for Kale Baker. That one breaks open the scoring. It's 2-0 Ole Miss as the legend of Kale Baker continues to grow here in Oxford. Kale Baker strikes again. It's that ball a ton right in the left center gap just over the Jake Gibbs retired number there. Oxford, Mississippi, Manastra, Kelly Flam do up for the Muskies. Astra, well hit ball to left field. That one's going to skip off the bullpen wall. Natali Manastra, the veteran catcher, leading off with a double here for Xavier. Zwak looking for the third out of the inning. Ely laces it into left field. His first hit is an Ole Miss Rebel. Upping the tempo. Dunhurst winds up on third base. The Rebels will have runners on the corners here with two outs in the bottom of the fourth. It's one thing to make an adjustment after you've seen it, but as he strikes out for a career high 11. Excuse me, 12. Trying to fall in line. Hayden Dunhurst has other plans. His second home run in as many days. The catcher. Showing off, he's more than just a defensive presence. Two-run shot, doubling the lead. Ole Miss leads it 4-0 here in the bottom of the fifth inning. The freshman Hayden Dunhurst hits that ball a ton. Win game two of a crucial series as he gives way to Austin Miller here. Senior from North Liberty. North Liberty. Austin Miller, a mainstay here for the Rebels. He'll be available and get stronger they head towards Big East play. Austin Miller comes into the game and strikes out the side. Not a shabby start for the senior from Iowa. 4-0 Ole Miss heading to the bottom of the seventh. In the early part of the season, they've showcased a lot of it. Chatagnier out to left field. Grab is made on an excellent play. Looking to be a big part of this Xavier bullpen. Off the bench, Justin Bench. Steps into the box, delivers with at least one RBI. The second one crosses the plate. He's standing on second. Ole Miss increases their lead to six. Servideo has driven in five so far this season. He's got two in scoring position here. And he takes this one for a ride to center field. Getting back is Sexton at the wall. Does he make the grab? No, he does not. Servideo, a three-run bomb. Anthony Servideo, three-run home run to center field. And there was, to be quite honest, half the people on the field didn't know if it was a home run. So Cale Baker got the afternoon started with a two-run home run, part of nine runs that went up on the board for Ole Miss. Now it's Colbert Baker's turn, excuse me, the freshman from Hoover, Alabama, 6'2", 200 pounds, making his Rebel debut. Ball's in the air towards right field. Tim Elko camps out underneath it. And Ole Miss has shut out Xavier in back-to-back -back games. They'll take the second game of the series 9-0. Pretty impressive start to the weekend for Ole Miss as they look to try to sweep the Musketeers tomorrow.